Hello guys, how's everything? Everything's good, all right, good. Today we uh, we having another show here, Witness Without Identity, and we're gonna talk about the Reddit GameStop issue with Reddit. Um, this thing is like, it's pretty uh, interesting what happened here. And, and uh, so basically it's because uh, the Wall Streeters, uh, there was a big uh, trade that happened which was kind of interesting and I like basically um, so Wall Street was taking a bet on GameStop and uh, GameStop like uh, for GameStop to fail so there was a lot of short sellers they was trying to sell GameStop like very aggressively I'm talking about like a thousand percent very aggressively very very aggressively so now GameStop um, like it, it, it gets I was about to fail, but there's a bunch of people on Reddit that decided to like like fight against the giants of Wall Street. They decided to take them out, so they they, they collaborated together and decided to put their money to buy GameStop at a very low price. And so they went very aggressively. It's amazing how many people do that. Probably on, uh, the power of the internet. Like think about it. Like I don't know how many how many how many traders there was on the Reddit side. But they put a lot of money together and they were able to bring the stock price very high while what she was pushing the price down so so they won the battle and now the the price of, uh, of gamestop really went high and now the wall shooters lost about in the tune of 70 billion dollars and they are saying that there are some hedge fund that might even go bankrupt because of this so this is a pretty interesting story of david and goliath and me i always like those kind of stories because it's kind of like wow that's pretty interesting so guys i like i i'm showing you there's something going on in the country that's very interesting there's a battle between the rich and the poor and the insurrection that you see happen in the white house here i think like there's a tender basque a tender box there's something that's going to be that's going to explode eventually and we have to be very careful, guys, because at the, the country is fighting the elites. And the insurrection was a wrong thing. There's nothing good about it. But I'm wondering if part of it, a little bit, was something people f putting their fingers to the elite, a little bit of it, too. I think it was wrong, but I think there's, there's a little bit of that. There's a, there's a fight going on in America right now where everybody wants to stick their fingers to the elites, to the White House, the Capitol, politician, Wall Street. And here in Reddit, this was trading in Wall Street where Wall Street was betting on the company to fail. So they don't give a damn if people get laid off. They don't give a damn about that. They're going to short sell. They want to short sell aggressively to, to destroy those people. And, and destroy the people that work for GameStop during the pandemic. They don't give a damn. And guess, GameStop is going to start laying off people. So uh, when Reddit, those people from Reddit came in and they did that thing, I'm not angry at all. I'm not angry at all. So I, I want to show you a video from The Hills. That's my one of my favorite show, where my main saga is. It describes those issues, and I want to I want to talk about it a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I want you to listen to this. It's it's pretty interesting what this guy is saying. It's like, yeah, like okay, so. Hedge funds and billionaires took out a massive short position on the company called GameStop. A band of Redditors on a subreddit called Wall Street Bets called their bluff, drove the stock up to the tune of thousands of percentile more to force those hedge funds to liquidate billions of dollars in losses while the merry band of Redditors gets rich. It's the ultimate David and Goliath story. Underemployed and unemployed, sitting at home in their pajamas, using the power of the internet and new trading platforms like Robinhood to destroy the kings of American finance. We are never going to go back to the old ways of doing business. And Wall Street knows this. So what's their solution? It's one that we, my friends, must resist absolutely at all costs. Now they know that they do not have a monopoly on manipulating the market. They are going to do everything in their power to go after you and people like me who are not on the side of the billionaire elite. As I laid out yesterday, they are already going into overdrive on CNBC, who started off yesterday by inviting the literal CEO of the NASDAQ on to call for more regulation. Let's take a listen to that again. One of the things that we're talking about is maybe misinformation and, and uh, pump and dumps, and it's occurring on social media again. It just 
I, I'm wondering whether it's part of the same problem, the type of regulation that that, uh, that we finally need to, uh, to consider. And like I said, I, we should always have a light touch with regulation, but you're, you're seeing the way things can get started. Again, this is different. Maybe it's Reddit, maybe it's not Facebook, but you're seeing the, 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 the same situation. The, 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 at this point, it's not about an election. It's not about a... Uh, an insurrection, but there are interesting things happening that, that seem to be spawned to some extent, or at least uh, at least blown out of proportion by social media again, Adina. Well, I, I do think, though, that as we look at these new technologies that are there available to everyone, including investors, I, I think it's also important for regulators to understand that you know, manipulation is manipulation, whether it's happening through a new technology medium or it's happening through traditional mail. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of making sure that we understand what the behavior is, what's underpinning the behavior, and working appropriately with the regulators to, to, uh, to manage the situation. Yeah, you heard that correctly. The guy. So, so you see, so here the, <laughs> the after this is what's gonna piss off the people on the bottom more, guys. It's those kind of people. Here we have the people of Reddit playing the same games that the rich guys are playing, and then now the rich people on on, on I don't know, I forgot what channel was the CNBC I think are saying no. Oh, right now we meet, we need, we might need to think about regulation. You are really gonna get the people on the bottom angry. The people on the top, you never ask for regulation. You want to deregulate, but now you ask for regulation when your people are getting, your people, the rich are getting screwed. That's when you start to ask for regulation. You have to be careful how you frame this. Those people, they have no political, like uh, you know how people they say you have to be a diplomat, a politician. They, they don't know how to do politics. You have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna get people angry. You know, like uh, like, but that's who, that's what they do, and they're very comfortable with what they do, like. Uh, like you would think that somebody would be like, oh no, I, I cannot be, I cannot have so much of a hypocritical, be, I cannot be such a hypocrite to say you know, on television that, oh now we need to regulate them. I'm the one that was pushing for no regulation all the time. So listen to, to more of these things. This is a very interesting topic. I from CNBC who hates regulation is now calling for more regulation. <laughs> and the CEO of the head of one of the largest trading exchanges in the world is agreeing with him. Notice, when hedge funds manipulate markets, when they screw over regular people in different companies, when Wall Street requires billions of dollars in bailouts and floats from the Federal Reserve, there isn't any call for more regulation. But a couple of average Joes on the internet make money at the expense of a billionaire hedge fund. Well, that just can't stand. And I'm not exaggerating here, just showing you one clip. The idea across the American elite right now is that what has happened with GameStop is unacceptable. Don't believe me? Check this out. As GameStop and other stocks soared, Arthur Levitt Jr., he decided to weigh in. And if you don't know who that is, it's the former SEC chairman who literally presided over the dot-com bubble and was appointed by Bill Clinton, who perhaps more than any president is responsible for much of the financialization of our economy beginning in his administration. Levitt wrote an op-ed in Bloomberg calling for a full agency investigation into online stock trading platforms and said that social media it can you believe this so this is a guy that's saying that right now we need to uh check those the stock trading, trading platform so that we can have surveillance over the over the retail trader so that we, we you know what i'm saying so the retail traders are not allowed to take a, a trade uh, uh, and have a big success over the big guys the, prof the, the professional big guys in wall street guys we, by doing things like that in people's face you got to make people hate capitalism. I, I'm I'm for capitalism, but I but but I, but I don't know if I'm for Wall Street capitalism, like the betting, because those things have no value. Guys, I want to tell you something, a story about me. I used to be big into trading. I stopped because I saw I couldn't make money, and guess what happened? The company I'm not going to name the company, but the company I used to trade, they filed for bankruptcy, and then they had problem with the SEC for fraud. So this whole thing about the fraud, uh, the, 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 the trading platform in Wall Street, there's a lot of fraud going on there. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know if mankind should be should do those things on people's labor to trade people's labor on Wall Street like that. I don't know. Me, I think I, that's why I say to myself, I'm not going to trade anymore. I'm not telling you not to do that, to, to stop trading. But I'm just telling you that, you know, the whole Wall Street and stock market look like a big scam for me. You know, I mean, it's weird taking advantage of users behavioral psychology and pushing them into dangerous territory okay maybe 
I don't even really disagree with that. But doesn't it just tell you everything that this is what they want to investigate now, that this is what they want the government to do something about now? Don't underestimate how mainstream this view is. Yesterday, the White House press secretary said Janet Yellen is, quote, monitoring the situation. Elizabeth Warren tweeted out that we need more regulation. The state securities regulator for the state of Massachusetts said GameStop trading should be halted for 30 days. And the SEC now says they're working with regulators to assess the situation, review the activities, and other participants, like I said, hey, Maybe that's justified, but you people are silent on the crimes of the actually influential people who rig our economy on a daily basis. You want a near perfect corollary? Billionaire investor Bill Ackman. He went on CNBC in March 2020 to give an emotional interview to say hell is coming and that hotel stocks would go to zero. His interview sparked a panic sell on Wall Street. It is seen in retrospect as one of the precipitating events of that drop. Guess what? At the exact same time, right after that interview, Ackman was buying billions of dollars in the stock as it hit rock bottom. In fact, he pocketed $2 billion in bets against the market as it was crashing. It was a crash that he helped spawn through his influence, through his media appearance. Call me when the SEC and the media and others actually get upset about that. When Ackman got some bad press, but he still got billions in the bank. Call me when the government does anything about behavior like that happens every single day on the street. Here's the other thing. The elites control the institutions. When millions of people woke up and they saw this story and they checked Wall Street bets on Reddit, they decided, hey, you know what? I want in. And so they decided to try. And the companies themselves decided that they know better. At one point, Robinhood, E-Trade, and TD Ameritrade were all down as the market opened. But TD Ameritrade actually went further than anyone. They decided, you know what? These idiots don't know anything. They decided to block their own customers from trading stocks that were popular on Reddit. Once again, maybe this is justifiable. When's the last time a major trading exchange or a regulatory body or anyone blocked billionaires from executing their crazy gambling schemes? Never, not once, because they own the exchanges. They reign supreme because they literally control everything. And it turns out that was the beginning of elite collusion. Later in the day, the site Discord, which runs the private chat servers, took down Wall Street Bets chat form, claiming that they had violated the terms of service for reasons other than their content, claiming that it had something hateful on there. And then the mother load, Wall Street Bets subreddit itself had to take itself private, at least for a short period yesterday, presumably because of threats from the site's admins that they would be unable So you see, you get the gist of it, right? So companies are taking down things, the platforms are, are stopping the trading so that uh, the, the traders cannot make more money, the retail, the retail traders, the little guys cannot make money from the GameStop stock going up. You know, this is getting crazy, you know? So uh, so that's what I want you to guys to understand is that, um, like, the world that we have in it's totally built for the elites and, and we have to be careful we really have to be careful we can't allow those those, those kind of things to happen man it's like it, it's getting out of control and and I, i'm afraid for the country because you see the protests that happened during the george floyd because they look at things like george floyd the uh, the guy that got killed by the police for 20 bucks right he got killed so you get murdered for 20 bucks and then you got trump that he caused an insurrection and then now he's gonna walk scot-free and you got those elites in Wall, in Wall Street, they make money. And but when, when the other guys on the other side make money, they're trying to put regulation on them. So the world is upside down and the people are getting angry. And you see insurrection after insurrection is happening. And you see the insurrection in, in the White House that happened on January 6th. Those poor people that follow Trump, those poor blind people, not all of them are poor. Some of them are rich or really bad. There's also a lot of poor white people that follow Trump. And then they think Trump is their savior. And the FBI and the CIA is looking for them, and they have arrested some of them. So some of them are, are, are dealing with authorities right now, and they, they're in jail, like like fools, for Trump. But Trump is okay. Trump is out of the house. He's in Mar-a-Lago. He's not in jail. And they're not even going to impeach him. Now, figure that, you know? So the world is upside down, guys. It's like the rich gets away. Uh, the Biden had committed crimes too. They, 
with the Ukraine thing. I think his his, his kid had weird issue with Ukraine. So it's like that in this world, you know. And people are getting pissed off, you know. And you see the riots, and then now you see even white people rioting. So that should scare the hell out of you, because I mostly uh, most of the time. <laughs> People are the stereotype about this, it's only black people, but like you know, white people. So now it's going to be the Asian, and it's going to be everybody rioting, you know. So the world, because really at the end of the day, we are all human beings and we're going to respond the same way. And, and you know, pe you know, the world cannot keep moving like that where it's all about the elites, you know. So, guys, I'm going to talk about this, those things more, but it's a very interesting topic. Thank you.